Let me start this out by telling you that uh, Bluetooth audio sucks. If you're my age, then you can remember back in the 70s and 80s whenever we had the analog TV uh, from back in the younger days when we were still getting into lots of trouble and uh, yeah, we're not going to go down that road. Anyway, the thing is we only had uh, the comparison was snowy, crappy picture or really good signal. And if you had a really clear picture, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was the very best TV picture you had ever seen on any TV. In fact, if you went to your buddy's house and he had a better signal on his TV, it was better a better experience. It wasn't that his TV was better. He just had a better signal, you know. And uh, that was mind-blowing. Same thing with VHS when that come along. Holy crap, you always had a pretty picture because it was already recorded. Now, since most everybody listens to music on Bluetooth, you're comparing it to Bluetooth. So you got your Bluetooth speaker and somebody else's Bluetooth speaker and their Bluetooth speaker sounds better because it's a cooler, bigger, better Bluetooth speaker but you're still comparing Bluetooth to Bluetooth. If you get away from Bluetooth and use an analog connection and then listen to the same song back and forth, it's going to blow your mind. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. So, and I'm not kidding when I say that you can take a pretty, you know, mediocre blue, MP3 file and put it on a pen drive, plug that into your aux, your, your pen drive port on your stereo, find the same track on a Bluetooth streaming device, the highest resolution you can find of the same exact recording, play them back to back, and you won't have to do it but one time and it'll blow your mind. You won't even realize you have forgotten what music sounds like. You have forgotten it because you haven't listened to it in so long. When's the last time you listened to a song that wasn't being pulled over a Bluetooth signal? Right? It's high time you got back into that. Now, I want to talk about APTX. APTX is everybody but Apple's version of uh, Bluetooth signal. Most devices use APTX. Uh, nothing fancy about it, nothing special about it. It's pretty much crap. It's supposed to be a CD quality like uh, 16, was it 16 kilohertz, 40, or 16 bytes per second, 48, or 44 kilohertz. Yeah, and it's supposed to be CD like quality. Well, it's not, and it doesn't sound the same. If you play them back to back, you'll see the difference. It's bonkers how how bad a uh, Bluetooth signal degrades sound. I went through for uh, for years. I have uh, literally years. I have been defending the Bluetooth signal. I said, my my Bluetooth sounds great. Get in here, listen to my stereo Bluetooth right over my phone. Sounds awesome, and it does until you put it up against a file that doesn't get transmitted over Bluetooth. All of a sudden, it sucks. I got access to the two great streaming plans, which I'm fixing to turn off, because they suck. I got a dozen songs on my pen drive, and I would rather listen to those off the pen drive than, than all this, because it sounds so much better. I got back into listening to music off that pen drive and realized just how bad the music sounded that was being transmitted from my Bluetooth device to what I was using. I was streaming from my tablet to my DSP. It's a pretty cool rig. And then whenever I listened to the a track again off that pen drive right into the stereo and got a wired connection all the way through, changed everything. So, here's 
here's the plan for you guys. I know you're waiting on the plan, so I'm going to tell you. The plan is to get your music downloaded somehow in a good uh, high resolution format, uh, like a 200 and something kilobytes per second uh, MP3 file or Windows Media Audio or FLAC or something. Uh, and put it on a drive where you can wire it to your stereo and, and, and have access to it from your stereo. Um, you're going to really appreciate your music again. If you listen to a track, and I've had this happen, I was listening to the Doobie Brothers on my, uh, on my streaming service. You know, oh, black water, keep on rolling, Mississippi moon, keep on shining on me. Keep on rolling. And I was listening to Keep on shining on me. Shining. I was listening. I'm going, this don't sound quite right. Because I was hearing, you know, the chimes that come in at the beginning, the wind chimes. Ding, 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 ding. Listen to that. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. And it was good, but it was it's wrong it wasn't quite right and I'm like man so I come home and uh, I downloaded the song I, I had to find it downloaded it and then I, I here's what I did I actually uh, ripped it off of YouTube so I downloaded a, they downloaded the video with a YouTube downloader thing and then I just downloaded the mp3 it was a crappy YouTube mp3 file Alright, it's a YouTube rip MP3 file. And I took that and put it on my pen drive and plugged it in my stereo. And I went back and I listened to the Bluetooth version a little bit. Then I switched over my source and I turned it on to that one. And it blew my mind. I'm like, really? So, here's the result of that experiment. The rip off of the condensed version of a YouTube rip of the song sounded better than the HD, the full max HD uh, version of the titles streaming service, Bluetooth from my Galaxy S23 Ultra it sounded better, the rip sounded better than the title stream a lot better and it was immediately noticeable. It wasn't one of those things where you have to go, eh, eh, eh. no. It's just a wow. It's instant wow. You're like, holy crap, I can hear it instantly. And then you, it's so in your face that you have to go back and listen to the other one and go, whoa. And at that point, it, you're done. Bluetooth, you're done with that. <laughs> uh this is just me spreading the love. Guys, if you're doing the Bluetooth thing, try the analog thing again. It don't matter if you're using a crappy file or not. It's such a big difference that you'll still hear the difference. But if you can get a good recent resolution file, like a higher quality MP3 or a Windows Media Audio file or a FLAC file or a lossless file or anything, anything that's a file that you can play straight through without any Bluetooth involved, you're gonna you're, you're gonna blow your mind. If you guys enjoy my content, please hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna put the target I'm going for here today. I'm feeling lucky. So, so you guys hit the target, get your dark finger out, and shabang! Peace, guys.